I'm back with another auction pickup video. So I went to the auction and I've got a load of stuff to show you. I'll put on the screen uh, what I paid for it all. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight boxes to get through. So I'll, I'll go as sort of quick as I can. Uh, I can't remember why I bought them. I think just because they were cheap. <laughs> Who knows what's in here? We'll start off with this jug and that is a dead spider just fell out oh my god right hang on I've got to deal with this it's not a good start is it blimmin eight spiders as well oh god Whew. right Oh god, I'm gonna have to check everything now. On the bottom, it just says something 275. Got two cameras on the go at the moment. Uh, so I know nothing about that. I'll do a Google image search on that. And there's some other bits that go with it. A saucer, nothing on the back. I think there's some other bits that go with it in here as well yeah cup again nothing on the bottom another cup I mean, it feels like bone china and i'm i read somewhere that you can tell something's bone china by putting your fingers behind it and holding it up to the light and if you can see the shadow of your fingers through it then it's bone china um so that just worked for me another saucer and two more sauces so three cups three sauces and a jug um yeah there could be other bits that go with it in other boxes who knows uh next up this is cute this is fused glass i love a bit of colorful glass and i don't know if i said this but i haven't been through any of this yet and i bid online i didn't bid in person so it was just literally a punt and uh, nothing caught my eye particularly uh, the, on the base of this one it says in something like something 71 of 100 and then the name Ulrika I think I don't know if you'll get that no idea it's very hard to see uh, but that's really pretty I guess you put a candle in it Is this a canteen? Is that a canteen? It's like what well, they have in Arm of Celebrity, isn't it? Uh, this one looks very old. It's got like a leather attachment for the lid. And it says on there, PSL62, I think. I wouldn't want to drink anything out of that. Could be from the war. Could be really old. Uh, a broken train part of a train set i'm guessing i need to bin this but i won't uh nothing written on it but i won't throw it out yet i will throw the broken handle out though um that can go in there and we have some very old plastic horses there's one there's two A bit of metal and another one I don't think they say anything on them but they c I know people pay money for this sort of stuff they don't look hand-painted if they are they're done by someone who uh, had very neat painting abilities uh, <laughs> then we've got a barrel a red barrel a cart a red cartwheel and a red something or other must be a horse and cart or something that goes with it next up is this is this a tureen who knows it, on the bottom it says royal dalton england lion on top of a crown and then d4695 it looks like it needs a lid is this the lid yes 
this is the lid that's quite grand looking isn't it blue and gold no chips or anything yet <laughs> uh, we have this lid we've covered in cellar tape with the sort of hot bit that you lift it off missing um what is that ah that goes with that so there's this box and it says paro and this has fallen out of it but it's a picture of it on the box move that there bit of cardboard and it's a candlestick for 12 tapers that is very old it's metal uh, no tapers but i guess they wouldn't have come in that box so i'll have to look up look, look into that so paro anyone know anything about paro uh we'll get rid of this we'll not get rid of it but we'll deal with this first this is a vase with 1923 stamped on the bottom no dead spiders in it uh got cherries on it yeah cherries oh another horse and we've got like a little jewelry holder these are all so grubby this one says oh limage mr3226 i'm sure limage has come up in a video before and then we've got a paperweight i love paperweights this one does it have anything on the bottom yes i'll need my loop though i think i have no idea what that says um but if i get stuck with paperweights I am a member of a paperweight group on Facebook, so if you take good pictures, people can really help out. Actually, you don't even need to take good pictures of the signature. Sometimes people can tell the maker by the design, but also on some of these groups, the actual makers are in the groups, which is really handy. Does anyone know what this is? It's metal, it's got four prongs, it's like a khaki green color anyone know what that is uh, oh I hope there's not a spider in here this is a teapot I think or is it a coffee pot orange metal nothing written on the bottom but it's got a little chain that keeps the handle or well, the lid attached to the actual um, pot so it's quite neat sort of reminds me of the sort of thing that someone so like an old man would have in his garden shed oh look the instructions for the candle holder the paro um, any ideas what this is is this a candle holder as well is this for tapered candles nothing written on it I feel a candle bundle coming on is that it looks like the rose of a uh, watering can but there's no holes in the end is it metal or is it ceramic so now it's got a hole in one side or is it a draw it could be a doorknob is it a doorknob oh it could be a doorknob because it's got like a square hole that could be a doorknob vintage doorknob more glass a tea light holder just clear glass that has nothing stamped or written on it a egg cup with a big crack down the side that just has a y written on the bottom it's a little bunny uh, i'm not going to bin it but i don't think it's worth anything because it's a bit knackered and we've got some blue beads a necklace Are they glass beads it could be glass beads amanda do you know anything about glass beads it's quite a nice color blue <laughs> a 
this is just costume jewelry sort of doesn't it's not it's nothing it's nothing i can predict that going to the charity shop oh, some broken bits of china okay this is a little teacup and it says on the bottom hand painted climax with a k made in japan hmm. Who, have you got anything else that goes with it no then i've got this little stoneware pot just like some studio pottery nothing written on the bottom of that and then i've got a little cup like an espresso cup with playing cards on it and that is exclusively for tiffany and co elizabethan staffordshire hand decorated fine bone china england maybe that might be worth something i definitely won't throw that out <laughs> what else have we got in here um a little duck ornament duckling lying on his back um doesn't say anything anything anywhere on it and no chips or anything so that's that's good and then possibly a sugar bowl this one has flowers painted on the side and it says spode england so it feels like bone china again uh, a little trinket dish no idea what that says it's blue with like forget-me-nots on it i think another glass paperweight this looks like it's a pressed flower i don't even think it's glass is it glass yeah is it resin could be resin with a felt base and on the bottom handmade with real pressed flowers i didn't touch it this was the culprit this plate it's got like african sort of drawings on it people and pots and stuff uh, some scratches on the back i don't think there's anything written on the back i wonder I might clean up i have to do it i'll hopefully work on a google image search I'm running out of room here Another plate. This one has made in England H and K Tunstall. It's square and it's got a lady sitting amongst the flowers. Then oh this has got to be the winner. A plate of Gosport. I don't think I've ever been to Gosport. Do you live in Gosport? Do you want a plate? vintage plate of gosport in hampshire uh no chips so it's yours if you want it and also another plate sort of thing you see in a little vintage tea room and we actually live opposite a vintage tea room um you never know they might want them what does bone china coloff made in england c-o-l-e L O U G H, I think. I don't think I've heard of that. Unless I've totally got it wrong. Oh, look, another cup to go with my set. So, what four cups and three saucers. <clears throat> got a little jewelry box, or fabric jewelry box. And in it is a brooch. Anything else under that? No. Um, hang on. Last time I had a load of brooches. Um, one of them didn't do up it was i had to go in the bin it was a shame because i could have got about 20 quid for it um but it was beyond repair there we go it looks like sort of wood effect it looks like it's made of some like a natural material and we have a little trinket pot with flowers on it this says pintado emano 
guess it's a, like a, a tourist piece. And then we have a big plate. This one says, Schwa, Schwa, England, Swin. I don't know what that says. Does anyone recognize that pattern? Anyone recognize that? And then I'll just pop this back in and show you the mirror. There we go. It's a handheld mirror. I guess it's vintage. Don't like selling mirrors. Never sold one. Don't know if I plan on selling any. Right. Next, there's a lot of glass in here and it's not the sort of glass I like. It's glasses. Um, don't know where to start. Let's start here. A mug. Souvenir of the Great War. It says, BT for freedom and honour. And then something scratched off. Peace 1919. Um, and that is Winton... Stoke on Trent, England. And this little piece, hand painted glass, but it's like 3D, it's like raised. Uh, don't know that it's anything special. Oh no, it's all chipped around the top. Oh, then we have these glasses. Jason, are you watching? Do you know anything about these glasses? I don't have anything on the bottom. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not a drinker, so I don't know what glasses are for what drinks. Obviously, a pint glass um, and some cocktail glasses. But I know some people can just look at a glass and say, oh, yeah, that's for port. Uh, whereas I can't. I don't think I've got any more. Just those two. Um, but everything's so packed. I don't know what to take. Oh, that's a... Kiln a jar type thing, but decorative. Oh my god! Oh, and the lid's stuck. Uh, but that's quite nice. Um, doesn't say anything on the base. I'll see if Simon can get that off. Um, oh, oh. And we've got these two little glasses. They're very cute. They're like hand painted with, I think, strawberries and bluebells on them. No chips. There's another one. A very lightweight. And this glass, it's got a whopping great big chip in it. I won't spend too much time on that. Oh, that nearly had a chip in it. Then we've got these, the, like giant shot glasses. But one, two, just two by the looks of it. Ah, and then we've got this measuring bottle. I don't know if you can see, but that says Pyrex. And then on the back, it's got up to 225cc, approxim approximate capacity. Oh yeah, 225 and then eight ounces. And that's Pyrex brand. Um, another sort of candle holder trinket dish. Nothing engraved on the bottom of that. Ooh. Oh, another glass. Oh, we have there's more of those ones. And another one. So they're so grubby, but. Last time I did this and I had all the Wedgwood glasses, they, they uh, cleaned up really, really well. It didn't take much at all. And this, hang on, I guess is a perfume bottle. That's quite pretty. I don't like, this is all sort of dirty colored though. Nothing engraved on the bottom, but does anyone know anything about perfume bottles? That is really quite pretty. Um, what on earth is that? Just a chunk of glass. Anyone know what that could be for? It looks like it's been the end. What on earth is that for? 
have no idea. <coughs> What's going on? Oh my god, there's stuff in here. Uh, it's a... Is that honey or sugar? It's got a lid and with a cap for a spoon, so it could be honey. I'm wondering if it's Wedgwood. Um, oh, what was the other one I've sold before? Not Wedgwood, it's in a red box with gold writing. Um, oh, great. Someone's put the lid in. <laughs> That's going to be interesting trying to get that out, but there's a tiny little one. How on earth did that happen? The whole idea is that the lid shouldn't fall through, I guess. Oh, this could end in tears. Yeah. Uh, yeah, moving on. Is that a sherry glass? Or a porch glass? It's on a stem. No clues. They should write on the bottom of these glasses what they're for, for people like me. Um, Just a tumbler. I know that one. Oh, is that no? Oh no, we'll do this. A little orange ambery coloured jug. Can't remember what that's called. It's not carnival glass, is it? But it's in my brain somewhere. Oh, some more of the oh, have I had these? Yes, some more of these ones. Four in fact. Four in total. Then we've got this green vase. I wonder if we got our UV light. Hang on. No batteries. I'll have to see if it glows to see if it's uranium. If it is uranium, it can't be sent via GSP abroad because um, of the uranium. It will just get destroyed by customs. So just bear that in mind if you pick any up. Um, now these are different, they're glass, sort of utensils, like serving utensils, so there's a spoon, a fork and a sp another spoon, quite sharp on the edges though, uh, never seen anything like that before, set of three, got an old curtain hook and some sellotape in here, and oh loads of broken glass probably shouldn't have tipped that out oh well and there it is it's got a star on the bottom there we go and a plate fiesta glass handmade in england and it's got bunny rabbits on it never heard of them retro um, then we've got one of these this says Heinrich Germany there we go another one we've got the like, irises don't know and is that Heinrich no this is though Oh, don't break it's a sugar bowl I think although there's no room for a spoon and this is Heinrich it says West Germany on that one and a bit of paper hand painted plate calyx shepherd Dalton oh yes Royal Dalton that's what I was trying to remember and three white china jelly moulds not seeing those anywhere Uh, oh, a Heinrich West Germany bowl. No crazing on that. Crazing, if you don't know, is when there's, it looks like cracks, but it's just the glaze and that can happen due to dramatic changes in temperature, apparently. Um, oh, a little glass. Port or sherry I'm going for, port or sherry. And... Another Heinrich, oh, it's called, oh, it's Heinrich West Germany, Villeroy and Bock, Indian Summer. Nice. 
I have to start putting them back in the box, I think. Running out of room again. Uh, pop that one on. Pop that on there. Pop that in there. Pop those in there. Everything needs a really good wash. Uh, just a green sort of saucery thing. It's kind of like, almost like the texture of, um, well, you know, like the hexagons or you get on a football. It's like that. Um, don't know what that's for. Then we have what looks like a sugar bowl again. Booths, the Pompadour, fine bone china, England. It's got a bit of a chip on the bottom. Um, but that's it. It looks very, very old the way it's painted. And then we've got two of these very dirty these are Haviland Limoges France decor resistant lav hmm. anyone know what they are don't think I have the lids for them which is a shame do I need lids ah now I thought I knew what this was it's like a deer with like a hollow base. I thought it was gonna be a, you know the things you get that you put in the middle of um, a pie, um, so all the steam comes out, but there's no hole. So anyone know what that is? Then we have this sort of current, as in the fruit, current little jug, and that says Hillcoat Ceramics Fine Bone China. Then we have this bowl. I'm having to power through, I'm afraid. Sorry if I'm rushing. Um, looks hand painted, could be Ming. Ming Dynasty. Right, I just need to get these little bits of glass out. <sighs> Without cutting myself. Uh, we have a water jug with a sort of decorative base. Now I've seen that. Is that, maybe I haven't seen that, not in this time anyway. And then this, what I'd call a sweetie jar. It's a very thin glass sweetie jar, nothing written on it. Um, has it got a chip? It's got a chip in the rim. Sad times. Right, so that's a, another one done. Right, is this box three? I think it's box three. Box three. I don't think I've shown you this before. It's, I hope this hasn't got mixed in with them um, stuff I've just bought. Uh, but we have this big glass bottle with a cork. It says absolutely nothing on the base. Not much in this box. Uh, this is a Grindley & Co. coffee pot. Or is it a teapot? I think it's a coffee pot and then we have a load of Royal Stafford Bone China cups well I say a load we have three and they are disgustingly dirty and then we have saucers one two three four five six they're very pretty pattern but I I always seem to end up with more sauces than cups and sauces don't really stand their own I've found uh, a paragon china like a sugar bowl a royal stafford milk jug a metal swan it's quite heavy and it says on the bottom it's got a C in a circle Oh, who knows? I'm rubbish at identifying this sort of thing. Anyone know anything about that sort of thing? <laughs> and then this olive oil pot. This says, designed exclusively for Boca Della Verita Limited. 
don't think it's got anything in it thank god right that was easy that was another box And this Clark shoe box is not a pair of boots. We have Beryl, Woodswear Beryl. Uh, this is like utility wear, seen in all good village halls. <laughs> um, but it was cheap, so I grabbed it. Um, it's a lot. That's the stamp on the bottom. Reseller T picked up a load recently um, on her, she showed it on her Instagram. Uh, but it is a good seller. So we have two three four five six side plates three sort of soup bowls dessert bowls one two three four five six seven eight um no sauces but five cups a jug sometimes these jugs can fly sometimes they can take ages a lid to a terrine or like a casserole dish, an oval platter, a squashed fly, and a gravy boat and jug. And it all looks in pretty good condition, just needs a wash. Um, a bit disappointed there's no sauces, but like I just said, I find sauces on their own really hard to sell, so I think I'd rather have too many cups. Um, than too many sauces so yeah um i will break it all down so i will sell the gravy boat and saucer on its own the jug on its own, the bowls on their own the different size plates on their own the replacement lid um when i list china there's a i think it's called china search or something i'll have to link it at the bottom of this video but it's like a a a, like an online sales platform for people who have um or well, they sell replacement bits and bobs to so many different crockery sets like really old to current and i find it really good for research so if i know the brand or the name i can search for it on that website and you can buy direct from them they i think they sell on ebay as well um but it, it helps if you've got like seven different size plates from the same set and you don't really know what plates what I mean, everyone knows a dinner plate but when they get smaller and smaller and smaller they all have names like a um like salad plates and all that and that really helps because it has the measurements on there and what they're called so um i will link it on this video so if you need it you can use it too oh god i can't believe i did that right Oh my god, this one's heavy. Oh. No way I'm lifting that. So, Simon and I can get that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got two more. Okay. Let's mix things up a bit, shall we? Whew. Okay. Vintage heaters, like camping heaters. Apparently there's money in them. So I bid on some. There's one. Looks like some crazy satellite dish. Um, it is, I think they're all camping gas. Camping Gaz Super Baby C200. Um, I saw them in an auction and I just googled vintage camping heaters and put a really low bid in, like I can't even remember how much. Uh, I'll put it on the video. Um, but uh, I won them, <laughs> as you can see. A bit rusty some of them, but they do sell. Hopefully mine will sell and it's not just 
a coincidence and I'll be stuck with them forever. Um, so yeah, this is camping gas again, a Lumo gas. I don't know if that's for cooking something on it. Then we've got one of these. This is a camping gas. Mm. Don't know what this one is. But I, this is a light on the top. So that's quite cool. And we've got another one. Slightly different base. I think it's a smaller light as well. Uh, this is a Lumo Gas C200, or is that just the gas? Not sure. We'll look into that. And then this one. I guess that unscrews so they come out. Ooh, box is moving. S200S, this one. Does anyone know about vintage heaters? Has anyone sold any vintage camping wear before? This is a sun. Oh, got hair in my mouth. Hands are filthy. Uh, this is a sun gas, camping gas, extremely flammable. Made in Korea and it's got gas in it. I can hear it, like shaking it. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'll get for them. I can't remember what I paid, but I'm sure people collect this sort of thing. They better do anyway, that's all I can say. They better collect it. Right, I'm low on phone battery, so I'm gonna go as quick as possible. A little jug. It could be talkie wear or Taunton wear, I think it's called. Um, Torquay, England, can't see what that says, but it says, I come from Torquay, help yourself to Graham. Who knows what that means? Milk, maybe? A, is this a trinket dish or is this some kind of fancy dish for eating something out of? Who knows, but it doesn't say anything on the base. Uh, quite Very bright pink inside. Uh, oh, I've just sold some of these. Arcopole, oh, I can never, oh, Acarock, Arcorock, France. Cup. I sold a set that I got from the charity shop. Uh, Royal Worcester Flame Proof Porcelain. Oh, the egg coddlers. I've never sold an egg coddler before. There we go. They've got birds on them. There's a pair in there, in their box, and it looks very old. Uh, birds, it says on the side. There we go. Uh, we have this mug. This is Port Merion, Susan Williams, Ellis, made in England. It's a bit funky, isn't it? Hopefully I'll, that's worth something. Uh, oh, it's the Queen. Golden Jubilee cup, made in England. There we go. Bless her heart. And a little teapot a tiny teapot in fact this is made in china we also have another mug this says new southgate and fry and barnet social club 1893 to 1993 it's very niche oh no we've got newspaper in here and i ain't newspaper All right Compton and Woodhouse box. Who's Compton and Woodhouse? Is it a plate? It's a plate. There we go. The Wedgwood Blue and White Calendar plate 2001. Compton and Woodhouse. Still got the barcode on it. And it's a beautiful plate of finest Queensware, of which this is plate number 1420. Certificate of Authenticity. That's going to be worth a fortune. This is a jam-packed um, set. Oh, set. Uh, box. Ooh, Denby. Vintage Denby. Someone sellotape the lid on. Vintage Denby. I guess that might be some kind of little... Um, not a ramekin, but something small that you cook something in. <laughs> uh, is this an Arcarot? Oh, what was it called again? France. Yeah, Arco Rock, but a mug. So that can go with the cup. Things in things here. Ooh, egg cup. Ceramic, or oh, fine china egg cup just says Holland on the bottom. And then we've got this orange vase. It's very orange. 
and that just says on the bottom F10162 we've got a jug a milk jug I can set up my own website of replacement parts here Royal Albert Bone China England Lady Hamilton 19 something or other I can't read it uh, bowls this is Linderhoff EIT England says on the bottom Never heard of Linderhoff. Anyone help me out with that? Got another one. I guess Linderhoff must be the place that it's depicting on the front in Germany. Uh, this is a Grindley Staffordshire England bowl. Not as old as it looks because it says dishwasher and microwave safe. And there's another one. And then this stunner. <laughs> and it's got on the back. Trent Royal, England. It's glass. There we go. Nothing hiding under the newspaper, so I don't have to touch it. Right, some more plates. This one is Paragon Belinda by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. Little side plates. We have two of those. Then we have this. These are Royal Albert Lavender Rose. We have two of those. I can set up my own vintage tea room. Churchill, made in Staffordshire, England. Again, dishwasher safe. I'm sure my grandparents might have had these. Two, three of those. Johnson Brothers, made in England. Ironstone, just blue plates. One, two, three, four, Five. The Big Breakfast, as in the TV show, I guess. Might, might be worth something. Just one of those. It doesn't say anything on the base. Then we have these Churchill plates. Again, microwave safe. Got a chip in it. Loads of chips in that one and that one. Not that one, though. Two three four and then at the bottom is this cream petal grindley england and it's a lady and it says pinky on the bottom all right we also have in here another mug looks very sort of 80s uh, Fine Bone China, Crown Trent Limited, made in England. These look like they've got a lot of chips. Maidstone, J and G Meekin, chips, chips. These are all chips. A few years ago, my nephew and his friend came to came over for the day, and we took them to the village fete. And they had a stand with all crockery on it and you could pay a pound for like four balls like wooden balls and you could just throw them at the crockery and smash it i could set a stall up here oh alfred meekin again and another one these are crazed but not chipped so might be a good sign we've got ice lolly molds i think i don't think they're any good they can go to the charity shop um a jug that says nothing on the bottom oh my god it's got a little chip it says grado on the side now grado is a place in italy that we go to my family goes to quite a lot uh, we've been a few times all together and me and simon have just been and it's kind of off the beaten track for british tourists unless you've been there maybe because uh, it's right on sort of it's past venice northeast on the coast and it's beautiful don't tell everyone i told you that because i don't want like it to fill up with british tourists but that is like crazy that that is from grado because i don't know anyone else that's been there apart from my family right another egg cup nothing written on that apart from no it's not even anything it's just a smudge uh, another 
nothing on that one another one might just drop uh, put these together as a job lot of like vintage egg cups um, I am a massive egg fan however I don't need any egg cups this one is Royal Albert there we go uh, that looks like Wedgwood or no Evesham Evesham maybe doesn't say another one of those ones Ming Dynasty oh god that was so close and you dropped it on everything uh Palacy England brown this one's got like a chicken on the side nothing written on that this one's got blue flowers Royal Albert again this one's got pink flowers nothing on that has anyone sold vintage egg cups before and just a metal one there and then we have some more plates we have a big plate this is evergreen saxony stonecraft it's quite a nice plate that um alfred meekin glow white ironstone got one of those two of those three four five six and we've got more of these one two this one's a bit funky that is johnson brothers made in england got another one of those and then a plastic round tray that's like ended that box on a bit of a low isn't it maybe that was their display for their egg cups more in it right i'll take those out and move it because it's so heavy oh. oh god right a box with a plate in it silver jubilee <clears throat> queen elizabeth ii does this stuff have value now that she's no longer with us uh who knows I oh, guess I'll find out soon. Then we have a Wedgwood box. And in here we have 1972. Is there something else in there? Oh, cat, the Wedgwood calendar plate for 1972. Animal Carnival, it says. And I'm trying to go quick because the battery's going to run out another Wedgwood plate and this is calendar plate fifth series children's games queensware two pound 63 it says it on the bottom so that's those okay. right two boxes left green glass bottle sort of thing throw in the sea with a message in it I uh, don't know what it says numbers a 38 CC or something then we've got this blue vase very oh, oh it's signed I have to get my loop on that but it's signed I'm just in the dining room looking at this glass vase and I can see that it says, well, to me, SEA8507 or 01. Um, does that mean anything to anybody? Some more little glasses. Oh, that looks like it goes on like a candlestick. Hurricane lamp. Oh, another little. Then we've got this thing. It's got like fish at the bottom could be Ming Dynasty again all this Ming Dynasty I've got Ooh. Um, another water jug because one can never have too many water jugs to list 
and a bowl not sure what that is got a lot of washing up to do flipping heck that is heavy is that an ashtray look at that that is like solid glass that is really heavy very retro reminds me of like the old bathroom lights loads of broken glass on the bottom of here which isn't a good sign one of those again okay now i'm not keeping this people that is completely broken and um, that has nothing written on the base that is a hazard hello snoopy got this stoneware jug nothing on the bottom but that feels really old someone will like that i hope then we have this plate and it says jj corral 261 i think then some more green glass i don't know if that matches the vase that we had but that could be um uranium again i have to put some batteries in the torch and we've got this rather beautiful thing would you put cake on that you couldn't put a cake on that surely maybe a profiterole display profiterole wear that's a good idea Love love me a profiterole uh then we have this piece of stoneware nothing on the bottom again and then we have like a glass trifle bowl or fruit bowl oh look another one this is much shinier and sparklier oh and another one i think these are winning over the water jugs now oh and a used lolly stick in the bottom great then we've got an, like a little pot or something. Palette smashed. Smashed bottom bit. That's a shame. Oh, and another water jug. Could have a Pim's party, couldn't I? Right, get this away quick. Oh. got one more one more oh, okay right plates this one is a pomeroy produced from the original davenport engravings oh hands are filthy there we go and i'm guessing this matches looks like it does so two of those <sighs> then we have a goggle goggle jug however there are chips in the bottom that is dartmouth devon will i be able to sell it with chips in it who knows then we have posy vase that is wedgwood country wear needs a good clean then we have Wedgwood Jasperware. Sold some Jasperware today actually. The black one that was in a previous video. And some kind of bird thing made out of horn or something. Is it horn or is it plastic? Anyone know anything about this sort of thing? It's got a hole in it. What's it for? We have another jug. Jugs are winning. Nothing written on this. Um, stoneware. Then we've got some more Ming Dynasty. Looks like a toothbrush holder from the Ming era. There we go. Oh, my back. Oh, another jug. Real ale made in England. And some weird bowls that aren't flat on the bottom because that's helpful of course. this is not an oil burner ace oh it's marks and spencers open hand something oh tea light holder six pounds <laughs> got three of those 
Then we have this. Stop it. This wooden guy. Who's he? It hangs on the wall. Who is he? Oh, it says G.R. Fraser. Another plate. This one says Da Luisa Sorrento. So that's like tourist wear made in Italy. Uh, and we have this. What is this? No idea. Strangely nice. It says Saddler's. Oh, actually, I don't know what that says. I'll have to look at it through my loop. But it's like stoneware. It's like a lamp base, but it's not a lamp base. Then we've got a pumpkin style art deco, like trinket pot. Nothing written on the bottom there. Oh, this is a lamp base though. Oh, it's more Ming. This is from, uh, this is a Ming electric lamp base. Chinese style dec decoration on the bottom. Uh, no idea if it works, but that is very old. Um, a bell. Brass bell, Jason. Brass bell for Jason. And it's got, needs a good clean. It's got like a stag or a moose or something on the side. Surely a moose wouldn't have worn that around its neck though. Maybe it did. Um, another one of these style vases, which I think we had earlier. Here's one I had earlier. This is, yes we did. This says 1923 on it. Maybe I could sell them as a pair. This is a brass candle base because there's a candle in it. And I'm guessing this goes on the top. That's quite cool. Someone will buy that, surely. And I'm guessing look, the clear one doesn't fit that I found earlier. Look, it's a bit wonky. But that's cool. And then some more plates. So this one has nothing on the back. What is this texture called? Does anyone know when it's like a basket with holes in it, but it's ceramic? Uh, it says fine porcelain, Cruise and Company, Harrogate, England. Finest West German porcelain decorated and hand finished in England. This is a bit, fun Ooh, bit funky. It says Persia something England on the back. But we have a matching plate and another matching plate. And there's the back. Hold it the right way. There we go. And then finally, a silver coloured, I don't think it's anything special, it's not heavy, um, candle. I think I've done it. I think I've done it before the battery ran out. Just double checking. I have, I have. So it turns out I found another box. Um, a different day, different outfit, another box. And I've worked out the price for this one, uh, 13 pound 31 for the whole lot. So I'll just run through. I don't have to be as quick because I've got a decent battery on the phone this time. Um, we have, Gluggle, guggle, jug. And this one says something on the bottom. Foster's something, pottery, something, something. Is that the right way around? No. <laughs> that way. Uh, no chips in this one though, so that's good. Unlike the other one that I showed. And then we've got some ivy patterned uh, crockery this is Celt craft designed by Noritak or Noritaki Noritak uh, in Ireland it's Ivy Lane and it's not that old because it's microwave and oven safe looks sort of 80s to me but I've got a side plate I've got a lunch plate 
got a dinner plate. Don't think there's any chips. And then I've got like an oval platter. Does this go with it? Yeah, I've got a saucer. You know how much I love selling saucers on their own. Uh, I think that's it. For, oh no, there might be some stuff hidden in there actually. I've just seen some ivy poking out. And I've got a decorative plate. I'm not a fan of decorative collectible plates. Um, I'll obviously look them up. This one is Splashdown. Second issue in Gray and Bradshaw's Quiet Waters. A collector's plate series depicting tranquil scenes from nature, featuring some of our best loved native birds. Edition strictly limited to a maximum firing period of 95 days. Made in England, Royal Worcester. And it's been on someone's wall. So that's geese and another one this is on the alert this is the third issue it's a kingfisher they are freezing what is the temperature in here 11. and ducks and drakes fourth issue in quiet waters 1991. uh hopefully that's that of the decorative plates then we have a cup to go with my saucer that's good so there it is and a jug i think this is a chip and crack free set or part of the set anyway that's good um then we have this retro thing i mean surely that can't be a salt shaker that is a lot of salt uh, it's got one hole, it's got sellotape over it, it's got the stopper at the bottom, no markings on it, so I'll have to do a Google image search. And then with it, is that a chip? No. Is like a little sugar pot. Oh, it says something on the bottom. Who knows? There you go. I have to do a Google image search on those for sure. Oh, look. A bit of plastic off one of those um, ice lolly moulds, which is there. Um, let's go for this one next. So, Hornsey. I do like picking up Hornsey. This is Bronte. This is like a biscuit barrel. Sometimes they say biscuits, sometimes they'll say flour or whatever. This doesn't say anything, so use it for what you like. We've got green plates. This is Paul England, just a plain green side plate. Oh, is this some more? Yes. Three more, but they're slightly smaller. So I'll go on China search and look up the pattern and see if they're worth anything. Uh, going back to Hornsey, we've got another one of these. Uh, this is really good condition and no chips or cracks again and it doesn't say sugar tea coffee or anything on it um so that's good and then another one so we've got three different sizes again they're like so shiny and clean inside so that's good so what did i say this one was 13 pound 31 i'm gonna make my money back and more loads of newspaper in here i flipping hate newspaper uh, a jug I think I've seen this sort of thing in all good charity shops. Pool England, oven to tableware. There we go. Always put the capacity of your jugs on your listings and your cups and your mugs. Because uh, if someone else hasn't and someone wants to know, it gives you um, a better chance of selling yours. All right, got a teapot. Looks like Meekin to me. No, Johnson Brothers made in England on the base. Uh, no chips or cracks. Could do with going in the dishwasher though. Would you put it in the dishwasher or would you hand wash? <laughs> I mean, I do hand wash some of them, but sometimes I just think, oh no, I can't face it. Put them in the dishwasher. Uh, a very dusty gluggle guggle fish jug thing. This one is Kernwick pottery. Goon having Cornwall. There we go. That these are clean for sure. Oh look, more Ivy stuff. Is that a 
sugar bowl, sugar cubes. It's pretty big. Yeah. Is that another one? Oh no, that goes with the teapot. That's funky. I like that jug. Johnson Brothers. <laughs> Look what I found. How does this happen? Someone's put. Oh, it's, yeah, that was easy. That is the sugar pot that goes with the tea set that I showed you earlier. Royal Albert, Lady Hamilton. I think that's in here. I'm going there. I've got a jug. This one is Granville. It's got some crazing to it. That's when the surface uh, sort of cracks um, in reaction to the temperature. It's the glaze. Um, some more retro bits and bobs. This is Arklow Honeystone Made in Ireland Glenwood. So helpful when it tells you. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cups. One of which has got a chip that I can see. And one, two, three, four, five, six saucers. There's the saucer. There we go. And a teapot to go with that ivy set. So again, I'm really happy with the contents of that. I mean, £13.31, I've shown you more than 13 items. So really happy with that. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you're interested in what I've picked up. Would you have picked it up? Uh, got any hints or tips on any of the things I've shown you? Uh, anything I couldn't identify, could you identify? I mean, you've been so helpful with videos that I've done like this before, where you've sent me comments and messages explaining what you think it is or that you know what it is um so as i said before i'm not throwing anything out unless it's like broken and unsellable hope you enjoyed the video i'll be back with another one like this soon once i've listed all of this and uh, i'll see you again soon bye for now